Yes po. Um, Ma'am, sir, what do you think will be the challenge to the next administration in terms of U.S.-Philippines relationship, particularly about peace, security, economy, and uh, politics? Okay. Uh, the U.S. will really exert pressure on the next whatever, whoever is the president uh, will win in the election. The U.S. will keep on maintaining pressure. Uh, but uh, they do not worry much in the sense that they have a close ally in the Philippines, the military, which, as you know, has been uh, maintaining special relations with the U.S. You know, at the military level. And uh, the military is the, uh, a consistent recipient of American military aid, you know, American military assistance. Uh, they expect the, the next administration, as they do now from Duterte, to uphold the Visiting mm -hmm. Forces Agreement. They need that. The Americans need the VFA you know, uh, to, uh, to uh, tighten their, new, their news on, uh, on isolation, uh, encirclement rather, of, of China. Um, but uh, the question is, will the U.S. win in these efforts? The, the bigger question, is the U.S. Really, really prepared to go to war with China? I don't think so. I don't think that the Americans know that they, they can defeat that China. Uh, uh, and, and so is, uh, is Russia. No? They cannot. They cannot. Uh, and in fact, they have done a lot of uh, war games, no war games, war scenario mm -hmm. games. And every time they conduct war scenario games, uh, they find out that uh, they, 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 they cannot beat uh, China. Uh, so it's, uh, the U.S. is in a losing proposition. It is more isolated today in the world than it was probably yeah. 10 years ago. It's more right. isolated today. Um, when you talk about challenge of peace-China relation, uh, in, uh, and what the, admin, uh, the next administration, not anymore this administration, no, because we're only like, what, six months or five months away from the next election. I think the next administration will face a challenge in terms of trying really to pursue, if it will pursue what Duterte pursued right now. No, It's an, an, um, the independent foreign policy. But I think the, the challenge is to have really a genuine no, in an in independent foreign policy, meaning you don't really, you are a non-aligned country. You don't align with yourself with China and you don't align with yourself with uh, with the U.S., but still at the same time, you are friends with both, no, or with the rest of the world, no. That's, I think, one of the challenges because right now, do Duterte is saying na meron tayong independent foreign policy, but if you really look at it, we're still much more, you know, you have the treaty, you are the MDT, no? MDT, which is the Mutual Defense Treaty, makes us a treaty ally of the U.S. It's not even an indication that we're really an independent. We, we, had, we do have a, a genuine independent foreign policy. You have BFA, you have EDCAT, no? These are not an indication that we are a non-aligned country. Still, at the end of the day, we have to, uh, we have to face the reality that we are still an ally of uh, military ally of the US and we have forces in this country you have troops in this countries no you have they purpose reposition defense material in this country so in that sense i think that's one of the biggest challenge geopolitically of the next administration of the next president and i think the next challenge is how the philippines and the next administration would position the country in a way that you are friendly to the to, to the U.S., but you're also a friend of China. Why? Because we don't, we should not be blind to the reality that China is really the front runner in terms of economic development in the world at the moment. 